Well, good morning, and thank you. And thank you, Werner, for inviting me on the stage here. Um, my name is Neil Hunt. I'm the chief product officer of Netflix. And uh, I have a fabulous team working on uh, cloud and containers. And many of you are out here in the audience today, so thank you. I'm going to talk about some of the work to do. First, a uh, little background. Um, we're about uh, 86 million customers in 190 countries, um, delivering about 150 million hours of streaming video every day. Um, more important for this audience, um, we run everything out of AWS. We're in three regions, 12 zones, and we have a fleet of about 100,000 uh, instances uh, running at peak times. We started our migration to AWS in about 2008, and it was a fairly long process. Um, the message to let AWS do the heavy lifting of managing the infrastructure resonated loudly and clearly with us. And we completed our migration earlier this year and unplugged our last data center. All done, finished. We don't have a data center anymore, and that's great. And we've achieved improved productivity, scalability. We've got a much more nimble architecture. And more important, AWS pushes the state of the art in new features. And every year, we get to take advantage and adopt new stuff. And this year is no different. So we've structured our systems as about 500 microservices um, by decoupling the modules so that each team can push independently. We achieve a continuous deployment that gives us agility, gives us the ability to iterate faster. And we've built a large set of tools, which many of you already use. A lot of them are open source. Things like Spinnaker for continu continuous integration and deployment. Uh, things like Atlas and Edda, to, Edda for monitoring and for history. And things like the Simian Army, uh, the Chaos Monkey, for testing reliability. And those kinds of tools are really important to the productivity that we achieve. So over the past year, We've seen the opportunity to embrace containers to further optimize our microservices architecture. It's a great fit. The goal is to enhance developer productivity by bridging the gap between the desktop and the production environment, and to give us a finer granularity of isolation critical for running the lightweight runtime, such as Node.js and Python. To adopt containers into our what will be a hybrid environment we built Titus. Uh, Titus is our container runtime environment for both batch and service-facing applications. And we also built Fenzo. It's an open source, pluggable library to address some of those advanced scheduling needs. We wanted to be able to deal with the kinds of scheduling stuff that Werner was just talking about. But we really don't want or need to operate all of this infrastructure. We firmly believe that it's best to let AWS do that heavy lifting of managing the infrastructure. And so this year, we've turned our attention uh, to working with AWS on the features we need to be able to hand off more of that container execution environment in, in the way that you've just seen. And that's where Blocks comes in. Blocks is aimed exactly at this, this uh, space that we're heading to. And we're excited to engage with the Blocks open source effort to integrate those tightest features uh, into Blocks and ECS to get the features that we need so that we can do that handoff. So our long-term goal, then, is to let AWS do all the infrastructure work, especially where it isn't Netflix-specific. Um, our development team can really focus on adding the features that are unique to Netflix so that we can deliver the most compelling service to our members. So thank you very much. Um,